Welcome back to Morning Express. It's now 6 a.m. local time. We're coming to you live from our studios on Mombasa Road. This is Morning Express. For those of you joining us now on KTN Home, we say karibu sana and thank you for joining us this morning. We're going to look at some of those stories that are making headlines within this hour. We'll also be analyzing some of them as we carry on. A quick reminder that you're welcome to participate in the show. The hashtag is Morning Express KTN. If you'd like to tweet, it's at KTN News or you can also Tweet me directly, and that's at Michael G. Gitonga. Let's start with some of those stories that are making headlines. Now, tension remains high in Lamu. Uh, following killings uh, believed to have been carried out by Al-Shabaab militia on Tuesday night, four people were hacked to death in Hindi, Lamu County. The killings took place in two separate incidents, one in Bobo Village and another in Slinim Shambani. The attacks prompted demonstrations by local residents who blocked the Lamu Hindi road to protest insecurity in the area. Along the Lamu Hindi Road, residents displayed their anger and frustration over the slow response by the police following a night of terror. At 6 p.m. on Tuesday, suspected Al-Shabaab militants attacked Saline Mashambani village and beheaded one man. Seven hours later, some three kilometers away, militants attacked Bobo village at 1.30 a.m., beheading three people. The armed attackers went from house to house ordering residents to come out of their houses and forcing them to produce their identity cards. Residents who took to the streets following the attacks protested over insecurity in the region, accusing the police of failing to take action. <laughs> The attacks follow a similar incident in Lamu County in which suspected Al-Shabaab militants killed three people in Witu area barely three weeks ago. Rita Tinina, KTN News. All right, and uh, well, joining me in studio to just uh, have a conversation on some of these stories that are making headlines is uh, Honorable William Oketch, who is an advocate of the High Court. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you, Mike. Now, looking at Lamu County, and it looks like insecurity may be something that we should be concerned about. Could insecurity be coming back in the area? Oh, yeah, uh, certainly. Uh, the country has really spent a lot of money uh, in this issue of uh, insecurity, starting with Operation Linda Inchi, mm -hmm. where we had our defense forces going into Somalia. Uh, for quite some moment, we thought that uh, that issue has been pacified. But regrettably, it's creeping back slowly. Um, in the last financial year, the government has really invested heavy on uh, uh, military equipment, uh, security issues. And I, I, I think what really ought to be done is deployment of, of those forces, not necessarily within Somalia, mm -hmm. but across our borders. Mm -hmm. uh, you find that in such areas like Boni Forest, it seems that uh, some certain rogue groups, they have uh, created a safe haven from whereby they, they can safely launch attacks, retreat, launch. So I think what is needed is massive deployment and also sensitization of the local residents. Uh, what has always been the weakest uh, part of the chain is intelligence because you find that some of these people who perpetrate such acts they live among the local residents mm -hmm. they eat and they dine with them but that intelligence does not come out mm -hmm. so government ought to uh, invest not only in deployment but also intelligence and uh, partner with the local residents so that such issues are dealt with early enough before early enough. they explode. But in all fairness, we could say that uh, security has improved in the country generally. And of course, uh, terrorism being a global issue, uh, but Kenya seems to have at least improved to some extent. But again, we need not to sleep on our lease. Oh yes, by and large, you'll find that uh, it has been quite peaceful, uh, both prior to the campaign period, uh, during campaigns, during elections. By and large, I think the security forces have done a commendable job. Uh, but uh, that does not mean that we should now uh, sleep on our laurels. Mm. We should always be alert because uh, terrorism as it is, it uh, thrives on uh, um, unconventional right. yes, action. So I think uh, our, our forces need to be on high alert. Uh, the government ought to also spread out thin its forces. There, there ought to be um, uh, good investment on intelligence because mm. terrorism 
will always be thwarted by intelligence. When you read some of the intelligence reports, uh, you'll be amazed at the level of uh, attempted attacks which have been foiled, mm. which did not come through. So on the surface, you, you may feel that nothing's happening, but uh, from the several briefs, you'll know that there's a lot going on. So the trick is intelligence, deployment, and partnership with the local residents. And I think for the benefit of uh, the citizenry, intelligence is one thing that, of course, we do have, uh, the government has invested in intelligence in one way, but we also do form part of the intelligence by virtue of the fact that you've mentioned some of the militants and militia live amongst us. Yes. We know them. Our responsibility possibly to ensure that the authorities know. Oh, yes, certainly. And uh, I think all this issue has its origin when uh, the neighboring Republic Somalia descended into chaos. And being that that's a massive uh, stretch of borderline which was not policed, which was not guarded, uh, that gave uh, the impetus for some of these elements to come in, come out, um, even conduct business, you know, um, counterfeit business, bringing in goods illegally, which also has had some impact on the economy. So I think it's not only the issue about security, it also has massive impacts on the local economies of those residents. Mm. Yes. All right. Well, we, uh, like we mentioned earlier, or rather like the president once said, security does begin with you and ensure that you're part of that intelligence to keep the authorities informed. Should you see anything that is suspicious? Let's move on to other stories making headlines.